No, you've watched. Uh, I know you guys have watched a couple of my uh, um, garage sale live picking videos. Um, I hate having to speed those up, but if I didn't speed those up, they'd take about a half hour, 40 minutes or more to watch. And uh, nobody really leaves me comments on uh, if speeding them up like that is is working for you or if uh, maybe I should just edit them shorter or something or just make a long video. I don't know. Uh, viewer retention isn't too good on long videos. All right, well, I'm going to start off with the, some of the stuff that I picked up on those uh, haul videos. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the last thing I picked up the other day. It's the uh, Washburn guitar. And uh, this was, uh, this came with the uh, case. This is a blues, or House of Blues model. And uh, so I got that. It doesn't look like it was even hardly played. There's no scratches. It's nice and, nice and clean. <laughs> they wanted $40, but uh, I only had $36 left. So I offered them $36, and I got the amp with it. It's a Bad Dog, yeah, Bad Dog Washburn amp. Um, the only thing I didn't get was the uh, cord to connect the two together, so I won't be playing it for you tonight. picked up this, uh, I went to a, a garage sale, this old man was just trying to clean out his place, and uh, he was getting ready, his daughter was moving out, and he was getting ready to uh, move into a smaller place, so he was selling stuff pretty cheap, um, I'll have to find whatever that was, I'll say Bible, I got a puzzle for 25 cents of Dallas, Texas, I don't know where I put that, and um, then as I was walking out, I seen this uh, boombox, it's nice uh, Craig Boombox CD player with cassette, and uh, I asked him how much that was, and uh, he said that the CD player didn't work on it, so he'd sell it to me for 50 cents, and uh, I figured, well, I could probably fix it. Um, I brought it home, the CD player does work on it. This, the, uh, the button needs the spring or something put behind it, because you have to really push it hard to get it to play, but... Uh, it works fine. Tape and everything works fine on it. Okay, for a dollar, I got this little uh, handheld Thomas the Train. It uh, plugs right into your uh, TV set. I got this Wilton cake pan with the little bunny cakes. That was, uh, it's marked a dollar, but I think I paid 50 cents for it. I got this uh, little Target dog. It's a Christmas exclusive from Target. That was 50 cents. All these little stuffed animals I got were 50 cents. There's a Gantz. That's one I always, my wife and I always look for these these uh, Gantz pets. Um, some of them sell really good. You want to look for that little uh, W on its paw too. But, um, yeah, we get we get a lot of those. My wife sells those all the time for, like, $5 or more. Okay, I got this Big Bird with the tags for a buck. I don't know uh, what that'll sell for. I haven't had one of those before, but it's New York Taxi outfit on it. Picked up this Vera Bradley bag. I paid $3 for this. I should get... Um, Oh, I don't know. I suppose I could get 15 for it. It's a pretty nice one. It's, uh, it doesn't feel like it was very used at all. I mean, it's nice and clean inside and out. And uh, the last Bradley bag I had that was small like that, I think went for 20 Here's a little Manning um, jersey. It's NFL picked up this first act guitar still in the box I guess it was a data fine guitars these uh, these sell for about 20 bucks or so at our auction I don't know how much they sell for online I'll probably sell at local auction because that'll more than double my money on it 
picked up this Vera Bradley bag. I don't see this pattern hardly ever. I don't know if it was a limited uh, limited run or what, but this one was five dollars, and uh, inside of it, it also has the checkbook cover and the eyeglasses case. So I could I could easily probably sell this for thirty bucks with all those with those things with them, or I might sell them separately. Picked up this magnifying lamp in the box, and uh, I love finding these because they always sell. And uh, I was actually looking for one for myself, and uh, so I seen this one in the box, and and that was five dollars. And then uh, I got another one that's buried under some other stuff. I'm gonna show you, so I'll wait until I pick that one up. Um. I got these uh, little monkeys, and uh, oh, hi, Leanne. I see you're in the comments. Um, yeah, there's a big delay between Google Plus and uh, and the uh, YouTube channel. I've got a little bit of a delay right here on my live screen too. Um, these little colored monkeys, these things you see them pick them up if you get them cheap. They sell pretty good. Uh, I usually get like at least 10 bucks for those and uh, I got two of them I think these were a dollar a piece or 50 cents a piece something like that but I snagged those as soon as I see them they're in really nice condition picked up uh, this this Indianapolis Colts hat that was 50 cents and this one was 50 cents they're both uh, adjustable in the back, they're not snapbacks or anything, but you know, cool tats sell good. This was fifty cents. This is uh, so it just says genuine merchandise in it. So that'll be going up. Uh, I got another baseball glove. I just sold one. I paid a dollar for this one. I just sold one uh, a little bit ago on uh, eBay. That was a. Uh, is a little different than this one, but um, the one I had, I paid fifty cents for and, and sold it for nine eighty eight, and uh, this one was a dollar, so I expect it should go for you know at least ten bucks. Nice pair of shoes, Nike Air Shocks. Uh, I had a pair of uh, what was it, and and Andre Agus or something like that. They were uh, Nikes, and those sold for seventy one dollars. I'm expecting these will probably, I paid five for them, I'll probably get um, 20 to 30 bucks out of them. Been busy all day long printing shipping. Everybody seems to want to pay at once. Here's a uh, little crocodile. That's a Gantz. Little fuzzy guy. He was, I don't know, 50 cents maybe. Then they got the little moose. These all came from the same place. They were all in a tub. And another little, little dragon. Um, one thing I don't have over here, I don't think. I bought uh, two, two big Walmart bags full of uh, Build-A-Bear clothes for 20 bucks. My wife picked up this for free yesterday, I think it was. Um, it doesn't work, so I'll see if, uh, if I can figure out what's wrong with it, or I'll just sell it for parts, or let the kids play with it, or something. I ain't even unpacked a lot of this stuff yet. I have this, uh, webcam at, that lights up, plugs into USB, and this one lights up. It's on a little stand that you can bend the thing around to wherever you want to face it. Um, I just picked that up as an extra one. That was $2. Uh, let's see, I got the uh, Nintendo controller for $2. I always pick those up when I see them. Now these, I paid about what they're worth, I think, but I got a bear. I wanted to put these on. They're uh, Build-A-Bear cowboy boots. They were 3 bucks.
I bought a new cell phone. I went with uh, Straight Talk because Boost Mobile, I didn't have any service half the places I went. And uh, I wouldn't get my texts until sometimes three days later. Um, this this is the one I, I got to replace it. This was through Straight Talk. It's a uh, Motorola and Android. Here's a little uh, Ratatouille guy. He was a buck. Now, I had that smaller, I think I showed it on one of my other haul videos. I had a smaller Ratatouille that had a little piece of cheese. And uh, I believe he went for $20. Here's a, a cute little, this one's an older one, actually. Um, it's Dankin. And it's just a little German Shepherd. I got uh, these two Ninja Turtle guys for free. They were uh, they were in a free box, so I got those two. I just sold one. I think it was like this one for five dollars. Didn't have any weapons with it. And this little Thomas Train was in the free box too, so I picked that up. Can't beat free on Thomas Train and Ninja Turtles. This was uh, fifty cents, I think. It's a vintage. Um, aluminum cake pan. The lid locks on it from the uh, little tabs. So that's kind of kind of cool. I haven't had one of these before, so I don't know how it'll do. I've sold the uh, the heavy metal ones, the tin ones, but there's a couple of dents in this, but I'm going to use my, uh, my body hammers and there's a dent right here. That'll be easy to take out. You won't even know it was there. Here's the other lamp that I bought. This one was two bucks, and I kind of like this one better than the one I paid five dollars for. It's got a bigger reach on the arm, and the uh, it's got a nice magnifying glass, and yeah, of course it's got a big light in it, so that's cool. Here's the case my guitar came in. This lighted globe was 50 cents. And I checked it. I think it's plugged in right now. No, it's not plugged in right now. It does light up. Oh, it plug don't work. That's what I do with this. Yeah, that was... There we go. That's kind of cool. We had one at the auction the other day, and it sold for about 20 bucks. So, I don't know what that one will go for. But I picked up another one of these, VHS DVD, with a remote for 10 bucks. Probably worth $30, $40. This was $0.50, cents, another uh, Dr. Seuss for my collection over there. This lady had a table where she had a bunch of games, and uh, this was sitting on the table, and I said, it, there was a sign that said, games a dollar. I said, well, how much is that? She goes, it's a dollar. So I bought it. It's a brand new cassette player with speakers and a microphone and everything. I don't think that's a real expensive item, but it's kind of neat. One of the neighbors is burning something. Um... This Gotham, uh, Batman Gotham slot car, I think it's from the 80s, and uh, I thought it was really cool that the scenery's never been unfolded in it, the cars and everything in it are in perfect condition, looks like it's all brand new. Um, the receipt inside said it was uh, from Toys R Us, and it was thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five dollars at Toys R Us. So I paid two dollars for it. There was a sticker on it that said seventy-five cents, but the lady said, "Oh, that's not right." She goes, "That came off something else." So I figured then she was going to give me some outlandish price on it, and uh, then she said. $2, and I was like, sure. I went to a church sale, and I uh, picked up a couple things there. 
I got this uh, Sagittarius. It was uh, 50 cents. Sagittarius pendant. If I can get it to stop swinging around. I got this uh, Timex Indie Glue for a dollar. Just because I wanted the... Uh, the. It said it didn't work and the uh, pin's missing out of the side of it. But these uh, wristbands, the Twistaflex, are uh, worth some money. So well, I figure I could take that and put it on a different watch. And then they got this little ladies Timex for a dollar. It's probably not going to focus. All right, I got, I got, I got, I got these two uh, Boba Fetts. I don't think they're. I think they're probably clone, clone guys or something. I don't know. I haven't looked them up. This one doesn't move. But it's got a uh, button for, it says alarm off and game. So I'm assuming it's some kind of motion detecting toy. And uh, then there's this one. This one's kind of heavy. It's made like the old uh, cowboy were made with the real heavy plastic. It's got a firing missile in the back of it. And his uh, helmet comes off. You know who I am? Leave it in the comments. Yeah. So that was kind of neat. I don't know if I'm going to add those to my Star Wars collection or sell them. I'll probably sell them. I don't know. I got this uh, autopilot. They're worth about a buck. And then at the church sale, I also got this bunch of uh, bunch of old plastic retro dishes. Some of them are Melmac. There's a uh, I think some of them were Texas Ware. I don't remember which was which. Must be this way. Yeah, and these are uh, Stetson. Stetson? Stetson Melamine. Still selling those. Uh, still selling them. I sold all the ones I already had listed. So now i am got some more to list. Alright, what else did I get? Um, I got this... Uh, Campbell's soup cup for a quarter, and I got this Campbell's soup cup for a quarter, and I got this, yep, Campbell's soup cup for a quarter, and it's, uh, I thought this one was funny because it was pea soup. You don't see the pea soup one very often. I don't know if that's funny or not, but suppose you could have some fun with that. I uh, got this Microsoft USB mouse. This little thing detaches and you plug it in your USB port and then you can use it on either a laptop or desktop or wherever you want to use it works. That was a dollar. So that was pretty good. I got this, picked up this uh, also at the same place I got the other mugs. This is a Safari Miami, Florida. And uh, it's got all kinds of animals. This is a pretty cool cup I found. 25 cents. Cincinnati Reds. This nice little uh, spinning desktop bar barometer, thermometer. This was a dollar. And uh, the last one like this I had, I think, went for 40 bucks, but it was... It wasn't exactly like this. It was more brass on it. So this one's wood with little things mounted in the wood. So I'm thinking maybe 15 20 bucks. And then uh, I think this is the last thing I have to show you. Well, no, I guess it's not. I got a couple more things behind me. This is a uh, barometer that you hang on your wall. Hangs like this. And this it's got... Uh, the temperature and the humidity and all that good stuff. But this was a pretty neat one. This was three dollars. That was at that church sale. I was surprised it was still there because we didn't get there on the first day of it. And a lot of times, nice stuff like that sells quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I picked up. Um, oh, I had a couple more watches. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, there. It's, 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 
got this D-Link um, router. That was a dollar. I got a Netgear router, and I like these Netgear routers. These are pretty cool. That one was a dollar. And the last thing in this bag is a power cord for that. Is one of these. Uh, I love finding these things too because I always sell them. This is Pac Man that you plug into the uh, TV set. I don't remember what the last one of these I had. I went for, I'm thinking like 30 bucks. I don't know why. Um, it's not that big of a, it's not that big a deal. This one works. Um, oh, I know. This, uh, this is something else I picked up, and I really like this one. Uh, was this one I think was a dollar or two dollars, and uh, I don't know if you can tell it's lighting up, but uh, push a little button on the side. It's another Indie Glow leather band. Really nice, really nice Timex, and it's got the uh, the time and date on it, which makes the uh, watch makes the watch worth more. If you I'm trying to get that to focus, there, there you go. Little time and date thing on the side. That's the chronograph watch, and those those watches will sell for more than um, just a regular Timex Indiglo without the chronograph. So I think that that is about it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Mike's in the chat. Global Voodoo, Ed Evans, Cool Toads, California Picker. Let's see Brandon, Juan. What's up? Uh, FT ideas. It's nice seeing all you guys uh, watching my videos. And that's about it. If you guys want to do a hangout later, um, I'll be up for a while tonight because I got a lot of stuff to list. I'm gonna start listing all those uh, ties that I had in the other video a while back. I finally got around to taking pictures of them. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, no, there is one more thing. Gosh, this was one of the coolest things I got the other day. This stool, I got, um, I don't know, what is it, like two and a half feet tall or something. I walk up to the uh, to the garage sale, and uh, I see four of these stools setting in their driveway. And uh, one of them had a $10 price tag on it. So I figured, you know, they're probably ten bucks a piece. So I asked the lady, I said, uh, I, I said, is this ten dollars a piece or is it ten dollars for the whole set of four? And she's like, I don't know who brought those. She goes, somebody else brought those over to our sale. And uh, she goes, I guess it's it's twelve or she goes, I guess it's ten dollars for uh, all four of them. So I didn't even look around the sale anymore. I pulled ten dollars out of my pocket, I handed it to her. I took the stools, I put them in the truck. Those things will sell, you know, 15, 20 bucks a piece at our auction because they're, they look brand new. They're sturdy stools. They're really nice. So I was excited to get those. That's going to, that, just those stools will pay for half of what I bought the other day. And I, I spent a lot the other day, but, um, I've already sold some of the stuff. So I guess that's why I don't have as much as I thought I was going to have. Here's these, uh, Two bags of Build a Bear clothes. You guys wonder what Build a Bear clothes go for? Look up Build a Bear clothing lot on eBay. There's like, I don't know, maybe six or seven pairs of shoes in here, and uh, I don't know. I, I haven't even looked through all this yet. I don't know how many outfits are in here. There's a whole bunch of them in here, though. There's some other stuff in here too that I got. There's uh, a little Tommy Hell figure shirt. Um, I got several shirts in here. There's an old navy shirt. I sold a really nice Hawaiian shirt earlier. There's Children's Place. That's a cute little shirt. I, I pretty much bought these shirts for my son, but here's a Gap. And uh, this one's this athletics department. I don't know. But it's, my son likes these shirts that have the uh, the polo look and the sleeves looks like two shirts in one. All right, anybody have any questions for me? I don't see any questions in the comment. 
Okay. Oh, it's Jingo Fett. Okay. I haven't had a chance to look those up. Melmac. Yeah. <laughs> that was Elf's home planet. All right. Um, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll answer them later. I'm going to get to listing some stuff on eBay. If you're looking for any Looney Tunes ties, then uh, check out my uh, store. It's uh, Bill underscore Stoner on eBay. And I am out of here.